A few pulls on that McCullough She'd be laying on her dogs He's a wood man He's a wood man Exactly, that's what I thought Remember when I got those handles from Haltsbrook and I was sitting in my truck and I did a box on opening of the handles that I got from HB Haltsbrook, you know, the company that does all the axes, the, the oldest axe company in the world that does the axe handles, that gave me some axe handles, and maybe we're going to do some stuff together? This, I got I to gotta share something with you, okay? So the more you know about this, the more you understand how the process goes for me. People don't see a lot of the inside scoop, okay? I have got stuff... Look at it, friends. Beautiful HB head right there. Okay, that's going to be on a big. That that that'll actually be on a on a, on an HB handle as well. I'm going to do a restoration soon. There's Buck and Special axes right there. I always just keep them out to give them a swip of the watka. Keep them keep them running. Check out this. So, look at this. I don't know who's going to get this. Zenith, Marshall Wells, but I'll tell you. Mr. Parsons got one. <laughs> that was a fun axe to make. Anyway, I'll straighten that out. But I'll t I want to show you guys something. So here's that. Okay. The, my process for fitting heads to handles. Okay. It. it look at friends. Look. Look what I go through. I, I've got stuff everywhere. I've got heads everywhere. I. I actually. I go on and off with 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 four or five different heads. I lay them out on the ground. And I put the handle out and I go, does this look good? Oh, it fits okay, looks okay. Like with Linda's axe, the hatchet, I put four heads on that handle if you're wondering what that means. Okay? And here, here's the finished product. Where is it? Here, here it is. Look at, I'm going to show you this, friends. I mean, I, I, I know you guys know I'm into it and all that, but, but this is what happens. Look, I just want to put this down here. Look. Is that not perfect? You know what I mean? It just looks... To me, you know, it it says I'm an axe. That's what that says to me. Hi, I'm an axe. Pick me up and chop wood with me, chop kindling with me, and, and use the back of my pole to hammer in whatever you need, tent, pent, post, poke camping. Take a bear out with it, whatever. So that's my process, friends. It's not just, hey, Larry, let's grab a head quick. I got to make an axe. Oh, oh man, I got to make an axe. Oh, that works. No, not a chance. I take pride in what I do, friends. I don't know why I'm going off like this, but I just like to share stuff with you. I like you guys to know my world, know where I'm at, you know, so... There's a lot of stuff that goes into making an axe here in this wonderful organized shop. Look at how organized it is here. Everything's hanging and got its place. It looks all <laughs> right on. Over okay, out. friends, you need to see something. Excuse me. It is cold out. There's frost out today. Hey, it is. You know what I'm saying? Let's break the frost off there. Okay, Haltsenbrook. Haltsbrook, okay? always loved him always rambling on about him you know me i've, I've the arvika and I, ju I just love the company i always have check this out remember the video the other day where they sent me those axes out of the goodness of their heart they gave me three beautiful handles okay i've already got two of them spoken for check so what they come with is they come with this okay this beautiful little thing okay so inside that obviously is a wedge check it out Look at this thing, friends. Now, I had one of these from a while ago, and I remember where it came from now. My my 20-year-old Arvika that I rehandled and headed. It's on the it's on the channel way back there. Look at freaking that. This thing's unreal. This is this is what it's all about right there. That makes so much sense to me. It goes in like this is like a little ledge, friends. Look at look at this closely. Here, I'll slow down. Look at that. That lip right there in the middle is crazy. That thing goes in, settles in like it's... And you want to talk sharp right there to start going in? This company, I'm telling you. Awesome. Straight up awesome. Just the way it is. So I'm hoping to 
to be able to to have access to their handles and 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 those things i'm uh me and james have talked he's been good you know a busy company big company i'm just a small town woodsman who has a passion for access really uh but you know like i think where this will end up going friends i mean i thank everybody for all their 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 support and these axes turn out phenomenal and i'm 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 excited about them it sounds like i'm tooting my own horn again but i freaking love making them it's like anything it's like you go to mcdonald's or you go to the ritzy restaurant from the italian family that's been doing it for you know what i mean it's it's, it's a tif different game completely now I reckon I'll probably be making my own handles. So that's probably where this will go. Once these orders slow down, I've kind of s slowed down on the orders a little bit. The good thing, it's all good. Um, yeah, so um, isn't that incredible? That wedge system? Just... So there's a process that I go through in order to get, to get a, 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 a product, an ax, okay? A finished, a finished product. There's a process I go through, okay? And what the process is, see these, these were the heads that, um, there's some beautiful little heads here. These were the heads that, um, that I just, I picked from. Sorry for being all over the place, but, but see, these are the two and a half, three pound. There's three and a half and that and three and a half there, three. But anyway, all my double bits. There's a gorgeous Walters fire. Oh, that thing's incredible. Actually, that's a really nice head right there. What is that? Well, oh, that's a freaking beauty. Just a freaking beauty for banging wedges. Man, that's a big ax. <laughs> so you need you need big handles. You need you need good handles to handle these axes. So um, these ones here, you know, um, they're they're just they're incredible. You know, they, they just are. Anyway, so there's a process. I'll throw out a handle and I'll grab five or six, seven, eight heads. You know, five for sure. You know, four or five for sure, throw them out. But I had a couple extra in there. And then I start put sliding it on the sliding it on the handle. Okay? And uh, that's just what I do. Okay? Uh, because you, you access are special <laughs> to me. Anybody can put a head on a piece of wood and slap it together. Well, anyways, this is what a guy comes up with, okay? Let's get all that out of the way. Okay, this is for S Mr. Stewart, okay? And he's a wonderful man, just a wonderful man. He asked, I believe he asked for a straight handled ax. Uh, well, I happened to find one, but it, there was no curve or nothing cut in it. It was, it was, it was, uh, do you know what? To be honest with you, it was in a heap of, of handles I looked down in the bin and it was there and I grabbed it. What I saw is the grain orientation. <laughs> I saw it there. So anyhow, here's another one uh, for my lovely friend, Linda and her husband. Um, so, so, so this is what we come up with. See the balance? Do you know what I mean, friends? They're, they're, they're balanced, okay? I was down at the saw shop the other day and, and you can buy a wedge banger with it. Like here's one that I just kind of, I've actually been toying with this idea with this uh, twine here. I quite, I quite like, I like it for overstrikes, you know. So, but anyways, here's an axe. Okay, gorgeous, but the head's big on it. Like it's a gorgeous pole, nice wedge banger. This is actually not a bad little hatchet, but all the weight is out at the end, right? So it's good for pounding wedges, but it 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 looks a little bit odd. Like like let's be honest. Oh. Look at this head, friends. Just look at this freaking head right here. It's a three pound, oh, look at it. HB, made in Sweden. That is a three pound head right there. Look at, it's got three mark right on it. That is a freaking beauty. Someone's gonna be lucky to get that head. I'm not kidding you when I say that. They're not a lot around like that no more. Anyway, so he here's, the, here's the situation. This is what we come up with. This isn't too bad. It's not too bad. I've been leaving little bits of, of axe over top of my, my head. I like the idea. It makes sense. So this turned out far freaking nominal. I like seeing a little bit of the, this here at, at the end of the axe. It just, I don't know why. It just, it, it looks worked on. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. It just roughs. My stuff's rough, but tough. So there we are. You know, you can see how this isn't, this one here is not the, the greatest balance, but it's not bad but I, this is where it's at for me, right there.
Aren't those beauties? So that's that's Stuart right here and Linda right there. Hey, I like it. They they're sweet. They they I just enjoy making them. I've been out here all freaking day. You know. Anyway, so my bench is horrendous. You know, then of course you got this. You get you get Mr. Mr. Oh yeah. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Okay, friends? You know what I'm talking about? All right. And then you get Mr. Root Buster. Okay? <laughs> Anyhow. Hey, friends. Back on the axes. I love it. Over and out, friends. Talk to you soon. Here's a little closer up shot, friends. It's Sunday morning. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, we're still in storm zone here. Uh... That's the beautiful thing about uh, having a little craft that you can do, you know, uh, indoors or in the shop. Like making axes is actually a great hobby. Stuart and Linda, I just wanted to use your axes as a template. Kind of about the process of my, my axes. These two, I mean, I love making axes. We know this. Um, Another thing we know is I like having lights above my head to keep my cranium growing. I use it as a... <laughs> anyway, uh, here's these axes, friends. Okay, I'll turn this light back on. Axes are neat. It's Sunday. I'll be talking to you guys a little later about some very important stuff. Over and out.